Now I did just put a little bit of a antifreeze in there, uh, and what I use, as you, sh I think you should use, is the specified BMW antifreeze. Uh, realistically, this is concentrated, so it's uh, you got to mix it to 50 to one. But if you price it out, you know, figuring you're getting two gallons, this is 24 bucks for one, but really getting two gallons for $12 a gallon. It's not that bad. I tend to believe it's a little different chemistry in the BMW antifreeze as opposed to the Prestone or whatever. Not saying you can't use the Prestone or whatever, but uh, I think uh, there is definitely a little bit different chemistry there, and uh, the BMW stuff won't uh, beat up your water pump or your seals quite as quickly. So I, I, I'm cheap. I'm cheap, and I do recommend it. So that's, that being said. So now we're, you really can't see down this hole too well, but you do see a little bit of, you will see water squirting out of there. Once this gets warmed up enough, there'll be a lot of bubbles coming out of there, and sooner or later there'll be water coming out of there. So we can put this cap back on, I think. And again, for the most part, I wouldn't, uh, take this thing the whole way out. I just wanted to show you the water coming out. And we can look at our temperature gauge here. It's at about 172. So the thermostat doesn't open till 200 and some degrees. And, uh, and the fan probably won't turn on for 200 and some degrees. But usually we'll get, uh, we'll get the system bled before that happens. Yeah, the water's pretty much to the top now. I'm just pulsing the hose a little bit. It's, it's bubbling up. So I would consider that pretty much bled. Some people will let this uh, bubble over for a couple minutes. I'll probably come back and check this again a little later uh, just to make sure all the bubbles are out of it. But when you fill these up with water again, make sure to put water in, fluid in here, radiator fluid in here, and make sure you see water coming out of here. You don't want this to be dry because that means it isn't bled the whole way. Here I just waited a couple minutes and now you can see the, there's a few bubbles coming out of there but for the most part it's water. So you can let a couple bubbles come out, let it bleed for a minute or two. You know, no doubt you'll get some water on the ground but not a big deal. So now we got water going through the whole system. So that's good to go. That pretty much tells you that the thermostat is either opened or it's pretty close to opening. Water's, uh, water's moving around in there. So again, when you, well, I shouldn't say again, but when you tighten these up, you don't gotta use a lot of force. Just put your screwdriver in there and snug it down. You don't wanna break the head off the dang thing. Now we look back to our gauge, if you can see it. We're at um, 198 right now. So we got a little bit more time before uh, the thermostat opens soon, but the the fan won't switch on for a while, so a couple more minutes. 